Okay, we got ourselves a little BB gun for the backyard because if you like gardening, and definitely if you own chickens, this is the one downside of owning chickens, really, is that there are always pests. There are always mice and rats that eventually will find where your chickens are because the same thing that chickens like to eat is usually the same thing that rats like to eat. So we got ourselves a little BB gun. This is a little bit more mellow than having a 22 or something like this because uh, I don't, I don't want to kill anything um, necessarily. I'd rather just uh, ding them a little bit or just really just scare them. With squirrels, it's pretty effective because you just really have to shoot at them a couple times. Then once you start rattling the gun, they'll run away. With rats, they're pretty clever and they really like to dart across from place to place from cover to cover. So they're very crafty with the way they move. Um, they're pretty bold lately. So this is my deterrent. There's also other things that we do. I lay traps out there and, you know, things of this nature. And we also have a dog, Ginger, that patrols the backyard looking for rats and is sometimes successful. Um, now, I'm showing you the safety of my little BB gun. Safety on and off. Make sure to keep the safety off when you are not using it. Red is on. You see the little red coloring. That's how I know. Boom, right there, on. And then we click it down, off. And then that's the lever action to reload another pellet. And up front, loading the pellet goes in just up in this front compartment here you kind of push down and lift the lever up and then i bought a the day i bought this thing i think i bought it for 59.99 um 6, bbs i initially bought a 22 but there were several reasons why i did not uh, keep the 22 one of them was that you have to zero the scope um, and to zero the scope, you pretty much need to go to a shooting range, um, or unless you have some land where you can like shoot it and then adjust the targeting. Um, so that was one thing. Number two, I, I really don't want to kill squirrels. It's n it's not necessary. It's overkill. But you know, giving them a little ding is fun. And also, I just like to do a little bit of target shooting. And today we're gonna shoot some cans. And so, oh, this is another little part of the gun. A little BB gun that I like is this little red rider. Just lets you know what time it is. My little red red daisy rider. So like I said, we're gonna set up some cans. Fill them up with water. And then we're gonna shoot those. And the water will pop out of the cans. <laughs> so to do this I use some gardening wire i love this wire this wire is multi-purpose wire I use it for everything in the garden it has a it's a, it's in a spool and it has a intuitive little cutting tool at the end so i've already have a piece cut out and you just string it through your cans the tab of the cans and i never tie these up i just twist them because eventually i want to just reuse it i can just use reuse this string many many times over so you just throw it through the tab and then twist it up and then when it's time to uh, take them off the trees you can untwist it that one's got a little bull in it it's got the little toro you see a little toro a red bull <laughs> I, I didn't i don't know if i noticed that until i uh was looking at it through the uh viewfinder in any case we we tie these things up because we're gonna have a little fun in the sun my lovers we're gonna dunk this into the reservoir get some water and then we're gonna take some shots at it <laughs> shots 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 um so i take a little brick because i'm still operating a camera and i don't want wet hands and these cans they float right pennywise they just they just keep floating so i need a I need a brick to lay them down you know what i'm saying just make sure they don't get any more air so, uh, you know, I'm doing this thing and uh, getting getting water in these cans. <laughs> so we got our Red Bull, we got our Lipton iced tea, or brisk iced tea. Um, and then there's me hanging them up from a tree to shoot off of. 
So I try to make sure they got different levels or they're staggered. So obviously you have two different targets. They're not straight lined up with each other because that could happen. And uh, now we've got some target practice to do. See if we can hit these. Ah. <laughs> Crank, 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 Getting it. Getting it. And then I'm about to... Oh. Listen to this. With with sound. see a slow motion replay anyway this thing is tons of fun and it, it is a good deterrent especially if you don't want to hurt anybody like when I say anybody I mean little critters because <laughs> you're not going to be shooting it at people right <laughs> so when I say I don't want to hurt anything you know, anybody yeah, I guess animals are people too they're their own type of people but so yeah so Honestly, let me let me be real. I have hit a bird <laughs> with this, but it just stunned it. It survived. It flew off later. It did stun it for a good while though, for like half an hour. I thought it was dead because it just like straight like laid there. I have hit. I have hit a rat. I've gotten one rat in my entire time because rats are very difficult to hit. Um, and I have gotten a couple squirrels. I've taken an eye out of a squirrel before, which was not necessarily my intention. I aimed for the face that one time. Mm, boys and girls, if you're shooting at critters and it's non-lethal, don't aim at the head because you, you don't want to blind them or something. It's not necessary. If you aim at their center body mass and it dings them in the belly, it'll just sting and they'll keep riding on. You know, you don't need to... Uh, do any permanent damage either my my theory is either kill him completely or or just get hurt him don't don't damage him permanently just give him a little ding to let them know you're there so that it's a deterrent so they go somewhere else so anyway exactly because we don't encourage hurting animals for no reason we really do um want to respect